Hello class, what we'll do today is we'll look at uh, meshing our low-rise building model so what we'll do is uh, when we look at the bottom uh, wall one edge is uh, slightly longer than the other so with respect to the edge that is longer we'll start creating our inlet on that side so this will become your in this side will be your out this top will be labeled as top these two surfaces at the bottom will be labeled as uh, bottom uh, don't forget the side uh, walls will be labeled as sides and then finally this will be labeled as front wall this will be your rear wall uh, roof one and then roof two so the first thing that we'll do is we will actually repair the geometry so let's start with uh, repairing the geometry first so re repair geometry apply now let's move to our three options over here let's switch on surfaces switch off curves and then I'll go to my isometric view so when I switch to my isometric view you'll see that in fact the inlet is over here so don't make a mistake in creating that so let's create part I will start with uh, the side wall face so side click on the icon over here so I'll select both the side walls at once left click left click and then a middle click so side is created so I can switch that side off I will now name top select the surface on top done bottom select both these surfaces at the bottom as your bottom wall uh, in out I can zoom in I can press on F9 to zoom in to this model and then I will put my front wall, rear wall, roof 1 and roof 2 I can just use uh, uh, FW for fr uh, sorry F front wall RW for rear wall R1 for my roof 1 and R2 for my roof 2 so done the naming have been done I can delete empty parts I can collapse this switch on caves and points now I will start with my uh, blocking so before we do that I will save this project save project as uh, as 15 degrees named save I'll switch to my side view let's do blocking so go to blocking create block apply done now what I'll do is I will associate caves to edges so this is your associate icon let's associate edges to caves so what I'll do is I will associate <coughs> the edges on the top first so left click middle click left click middle click left click middle click left click middle click done now same thing at the bottom left click and then select both these edges together and then a middle click so again looking at the cave at the back select the cave middle click select this select that edge select this edge and middle click so that's done over there let's not forget the edges over here left click middle click left click middle click doing the same thing to the edge in the front done so let's uh, just check whether they have been associated okay done now the next thing is uh, what I'll do is I will delete a block over here so that I can uh, mesh or associate caves uh, or edges to these caves over here so go to blocking look for split block and in split block look for split block option which is the first option let's scroll down and this time instead of having a split uh, method as screen select click on prescribe sorry click on prescribe point click on this icon over here and then we'll just select these points over here so just do a left click on it it will automatically try to split it 
so and then over there so this is what you will end up with and then next thing that we'll do is we will delete these two blocks over here so again in blocking look for an option which says delete block click on it and click on this block and that block and then simply left click left click and now do a middle click so that block has been deleted uh, you can uh, press escape or just click uh, dismiss or just do a middle click to come out of that command the next thing is we will associate vertexes so we'll just move these two vertices to the points over here again in blocking click on associate select this which is associate vertex so move this vertex over there and that vertex over there done now the last thing is we have to associate edges to caves around this house model so click on that so left click middle click left click middle click so that's done so do this over here so just to check where the caves have been associated okay done and then the next thing is I will specify the number of nodes so don't forget to specify number of nodes in the widthwise direction so again in blocking look for an option which says pre-mesh parameter select this option in the middle let's scroll down towards the bottom I'll check in copy parameters done so click on this edge icon and select the edge that you want to split so it says it's 1000 mm so one meter in the widthwise direction so maybe I'll just put uh, 10 nodes and then I'm just doing it I'm not uh, taking into account how many nodes I'm doing at the moment specifying the number of nodes you'll do it through experience uh, I'm just doing it for the sake of showing you how the mesh will look like and then finally expand your blocking option and look for pre-mesh and click yes I forgot to specify the number of nodes in this direction over here so select that edge I put it to 20 switch off my pre-mesh switch on my pre-mesh done so let's see so this is how you do the meshing of your low rise building model please be ensured that I haven't refine the mesh to capture uh, flow phenomena that is important to this uh, particular uh, uh, flow over the low rise building so you have to decide which area needs to be refined and have finer mesh so this basically gives you an insight as to how you will do the meshing of your low rise building model so thank you for your thank you for watching but I will just guide you through as to how I can save the mesh and everything so I'll just go to file again save project as this time around instead of named I will put it as meshed click save so it will save in the folder from which I was working from then I'm trying to save the mesh for my CFX pre so go to mesh choose the option load from blocking it's done now over here you go to output mesh click on this which says select solver uh, select nccfx for me it is automatically selected so ensure that you select nccfx click apply go to write input save project yes scaling tick scaling yes yes don't need to change anything over here just click done and that's pretty much pretty much uh, it for your meshing of your low building